Hi! In this series of three video tutorials, you will learn how to work with graphic symbols and add lip syncing to your character. Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm really, I mean really enthusiastic about working with Adobe Animate CC. In order to animate your drawings in Animate CC, you will have to convert your art into symbols. In this tutorial, we will discuss working with graphic symbols because there are lots of cool things you can do with them. Let's take a look at this scene. This scene contains a background, the classroom, a body, the head, several different mouth expressions for later use and a layer where we will drop the audio in. The head layer has got several groups from where the head is built up from. If we want the character to blink with his eyes every now and then, we would need a graphic symbol. I always like to think of an intelligent group when I'm explaining graphic symbols. It's kind of a group, but it contains its own timeline within this so-called symbol. An easy way to select everything within a layer is to select the keyframe in that particular layer. When all is selected, convert it to a symbol with a right mouse click on the selection. Choose Convert to Symbol. Give it a name which makes sense in the pop-up panel and select Graphic from the drop-down list. Hit OK. Double click on the head to open the just made symbol. Please note the structure in the top of the interface. This area shows you that you find yourself in that particular symbol. It's easy to go back to the higher level with a single click on scene 1 or double click outside of the drawing of the head. Open the symbols again with a double click and notice that this symbol has got its own timeline. Select all the objects on the stage. Right click and choose distribute to layers. Name every layer correctly to keep things organized. Delete every layer that appears to be empty. Make a selection at 2 seconds to create a new frame. In both of the eye layers you will create a keyframe at frame 55 Delete its content. In both layers you can draw a line to give the head a closed eyelid. Now play the animation with the looping option enabled to see the blinking in action. Go back to scene 1 with a double click somewhere on the stage and so you are back in the original timeline. The beauty of a graphic symbol is that by default the blinking of the eyes will loop. There are also other options available in the properties of a graphic symbol. We will see a bit more of that in the next video.